Right. Let's get going. What we're doing today is showing you how to get the most benefits out of base camp. There are reports that you can do as president or VP Ed, and I will be showing you how to go about it, what reports are available, and how you can analyze the information that you can find. I will just share my screen. And as you will find out, I am not Reuben. I was VP of speaking of Levin, but for reasons that don't matter, I did not renew. And as a result, I have lost base camp manager rights that I had there. My president of my club has kindly lent me his base camp logins. So when you log into base camp, as you can see, right, Gavin, you're a VP Ed and Mark, and you're a what committee what, role are you holding this year? I haven't got any officers, but I have been a, a secretary and um, sergeant at arms and a president. Okay. <laughs> Two of those roles, president and secretary, both have base camp access. So yes. when you get to your profile, if you're a base camp manager, you will have the ability to log in as a base camp manager or just as a member and log into your club. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the reporting is a bit clunky and I don't want to do that. You come to these three tabs. The one on the right is the Bible. There are so <laughs> many tutorials there that we'll just quickly go on. These are all pro, um, quick two to three minute videos on how to do various things. Right. Path completion, tracking progress, level completion, etc. The other part is pending requests, which you're all familiar with. If there's anyone who has finished a level and it needs to be approved, it will show up here. And it's very straightforward. You either ticket or you decline it. It's mm -hmm. very straightforward. Yeah. In the next one, the member progress. This is where you can find out a lot of information. Actually, if I just put that down there. When you get to this stage, you've got individual progress, level completions, path progress, path types, recently selected paths, and external training. Mm -hmm. Each has different aspects that will benefit you in ensuring that your club is successful. There is a little catch to it. So that you've got the latest information in the corner here where it says options, always go in and refresh before you do anything. Refresh. Yep. That means that you're going to come up with the latest information. This is, how could you put it? This is like going into your bank account and just getting an overview of your balances. If you want to know when your last deposit came in, you've got to go deeper into it. So when you go to we'll take recently selected paths, probably find that, ah, there it is. In the last month, one person in Palmerston North Club selected presentation mastery 
to be able to start. There is the ability to view details. So if you click on view details in the little drop down box, it tells me that one, the person who has done it. And she chose that path on the 6th of the 10th, which was at our last meeting. So that is how you can find out whether members have chosen paths. This club has got a lot of new... I'm working in reverse order. Right. Path type. As you are aware, you can do an online path. And if you want to pay extra money, you can do, get printed material. I don't see why I should pay an extra $25 US to get them to send some information to me when I can do it online and print the whole project out. Mm -hmm. I'll show you that at a later stage. So this shows, tells me here, again, view details. All 17 members of the club are doing online paths. No one has bothered with the printed material. And that could be someone who has, whose vision impaired or, or for whatever reason, they want the printed material. It's not something I would recommend because it's, it does limit you in what you get. When you do it online, you get access to the whole path now. With the printed material, they'll send you levels one and two. And you need to complete those before they'll send you level three out. Then you've got to complete level three before they'll send the next level. And you are very limited to what electives are available. Rather restrictive. Yes, it is. It's one of it's very similar. They want everything online. That's why they're very similar to the uh, Toastmaster magazines. It's available online if you want a hard copy. You print it out at your cost. So that's that. We'll go back up here now to individual progress. Do do do. And as you can see there, it is sucking up the latest. And this gives you the level one projects. Again, I always refresh before I suck all the details out, just to make sure that I've got all the latest information. And then I go to view details. And this, as you can see down here, and I know what you're complaining about, Mark, about so much information there. Yes. Um, but this gives you all the details of everything in level one. I think I'm in. Yes, level one, paths and project. And you can see some people have done the 14 people, no, start at the top, 12 people have done the evaluation and feedback section, 14 people have done icebreakers, and, oh, if I highlight myself, for example, you can see that I've done three icebreakers, but they're all for different paths. I'm running three paths at the moment. Right. This takes you down, further down to all the information for that. 
you can actually export it to Excel if you want to and be able to play around with the, with the figures. And the same when you go down to level, we'll do level three because level three is different to the normal paths because there's so many different electives available in it. Mm. All of this information is beneficial to a VP Ed or a president in setting their goals for the year. And there's the information that is looking, you're, you're looking for. Three people have done, or well, one person has done um, preparing for an interview and two people are looking at doing it. It hasn't been completed as yet. So there's all these little things that you can find. And then when you get down to level five, if you notice, I'm the first thing I hit when I go to each of these reports is I hit the refresh button. That is to make sure that I've got the latest information out. Once it's stopped whirring, yeah. and this is the shows the level five projects that are underway for members of the club. So these are all details that you can find on pathways. When you get to, so that's how you can find out the individual member. It's a wee bit involved. You've got to go into the details to be able to find. Level completion. Refresh. And this will show which part levels have been completed within the last 90 days. It needs to be, for the report or for your awards to be finalised, not only do they have to be completed in base camp, right. but they need to be registered in Club Central. The two databases do not touch base. And the number of people who've completed it here and say, well, why haven't I, why am I not showing as, you know, completed? Oh, someone hasn't done it properly and completed the process. Or it may be that you haven't completed the path or the level completely because after every project and pathways, there is the before assessment and the after assessment. And if you haven't done the after assessment, right. the level won't be showing as being, or the project won't be showing as completed. Right. So here it just shows that two people completed levels recently. Right. And I happen to know that both of these were completed on the 6th of the 10th. And again, if you go to view details, it will tell you that I completed level four of presentation mastery. And, oh, when did I complete? Oh, 14th of August. That's okay, I know that one. And Sally completed level one innovative planning. Again, this helps you check your DCP goals in Club Central. You can say, okay, I know we've got a level four completion and we've had a level one. So when you go to the DCP, 
and status, you should be showing a level four award registered and a level one award registered. If it's not, someone, namely your VP Ed, hasn't done the job. Right. And it's just a case of chasing up with someone to see, well, it's been done in base camp. Whose job is it to do it in Club Central? And I'll sh I'll just highlight that one and I will go, I will actually bring up do, 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 another Toastmasters International and we will go to Club Central. Right. DCP reports. So this is for yeah. Palmerston North Club. Right. So, And this will be something that I will be chasing up with because when was that? When is the DCP up? Oh, okay. 9th of October. They probably haven't updated Club Central yet. For right. They'll be focusing on the, getting the Jews done and getting everything up to date before they um, worry about the awards. But it would be showing, should be showing one there and one there. Okay. So that's how you can check what's in base camp against what's in the DCP. Right. So we'll just go back over to here now. So that is how you can check on the levels that have been completed within the last 90 days. The path progress is the other Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's all, everything has got instructions on it to see all members, select options and refresh, hover over a box below and select details. So with this again, view details. And this will tell you who has done what in each thing that they've got progress in progress. I know I haven't done a an effective coaching speech in Palmerston North since I registered with them, but that's everything that's showing under my name. Right. Here's the Pathways Mentor Program that I'm working on, Presentation Mastery, Effective Coaching and Dynamic Leadership. So when you go into these reports, they will actually show everything that the person is on. And if you're a visual person, rather than looking at text, this will show that you've got one ID doing dynamic leadership. You've got five people doing innovative planning, etc. So these are the majority of things that you've done. The other thing is people are allowed to do things outside of Toastmasters and still get recognized for them. It does uh -huh. need VP Ed yeah. approval beforehand. Right. And the big thing is, you must also have a Toastmaster in the room to evaluate what you're doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did a presentation at Presbyterian Support Services um, last week. I didn't worry about getting it evaluated or 
getting it sorted out because I knew there would not be another Toastmaster in the room. So, okay, I've done a 30 minute presentation on presentation skills without getting reward for it, but that doesn't matter. But when you click on external training, there will be a list of requests that have come up. So those are just some of the reports that come up that you can get that are beneficial to keeping track of how your club is progressing through pathways. Does anyone, do you have any questions so far? Mark? Yes, I do. And if, Neville, if you don't mind it, it might be connected. But, you know, I, I belong to two clubs and I mistakenly went into Sylvia Park thinking I was in um, Morning Toast. And so I completed a project, you know, I did the after assessment, but I hadn't actually done it. And, you know, and I, so I didn't tell anyone, but what I did is I went and gave, <laughs> I went and gave the speech to validate. I had actually done Sylvia yeah. Park, but I gave the speech. And, and that's how I reasoned with it and never told anyone. Yeah, no, that's, that's okay. The biggest yeah. thing that you've got to remember, and yeah. if I just go back to here. Yes. Ruben is only in one club. Right. I will cheat, I will cheat a wee bit. I want to log out of yeah. there and I want to log in as well. myself. Well, and the other thing too, Neville, is I confuse my, is I use the same speech at both clubs because, you, you, you know, and um, that's anyway. So, but I balance it out in my mind. And yes. so I just left it. When I, I've registered, logged in as myself. Yeah. As you can see, I'm in three clubs. <laughs> is that showing up on your screen? Um, yes. Or do I have to? Stop sharing yes, and go back in and share again. You should I have be a three clubs there. Palmerston, yep, yes. TN Advanced and Global Trainers. Gosh. Yes, and when yep. you go and complete a level or a complete a project, yes. you need to make sure which club you're showing as. If I right. change to Palmerston North Advanced, it comes up with a message that says, please confirm you're switching your home club from Palmerston to PN Advanced. Right. If you do yep. send it to the wrong club, it's easily enough fixed. Send an email to Gavin, if he's the VP of the wrong club, saying, okay. hey, yeah. I've done yes. this wrong, please decline this request <laughs> approval. Right. Then go back in and do the work for the new for the appropriate club right that's exactly how i found out somebody else made the same as me yeah. but you know yeah. I, uh, right the mm. other issue which is a little bit more difficult and um is someone will be quite happy clicking their way through something yeah and suddenly oh shit i've completed level five <laughs> but I haven't done any of the work. I know. Um, there is no way. Well, sorry, there is if it hasn't. But if your VP Ed is approving requests in Basecamp and finds out, doesn't click that you haven't done the work and approves it, it means that you've got to someone, the VP Ed, has to quote all your details, send it off to awards uh, education at toastmaster.org, asking them right. to cancel that award or that level approval because there was a mistake made and it hasn't actually been done. That actually right. happened. I had to sort that out for someone in one of the clubs, not in my area, mind you. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, there are glitches Thanks. that do happen, yeah. 
and they will <laughs> always occur. But if I go back, well, I'll use my now because I don't mind showing things. So if I go to here, this is where... Right. This is where the individuals can find out or remind themselves exactly where they're up to. And if you see down the bottom, there's the TV screen with Basecamp Manager Overview. Yes. That is one of the tutorials available to give you an overview of what a Basecamp Manager does right can and should be doing okay right actually well, i do i do need to flip back to here uh damn wrong one i need to do come on Ru. god that's yeah. so good i am there I am there. Journal training, great. Yes. Yep. Right. When you go back to... I oh, need to go to level completion. But you can click on there. Mm -hmm. View details again. What do you mean I don't have? Who am I logged in on the screen is? He's base camp manager, so he should be able to refresh. Mm hmm. I do, you retard. I'm sorry. Oh, is that probably why? Ah, that's why. When you get to the, you approve. Yes. I've got to go back here to. This is the one thing I hate. You don't, you can't click on home. You've got to go to the drop down box. <laughs> Otherwise, nothing works. Right. Oh, okay. It's obviously signed me out as, well, that's something that I hadn't realized. Well, I cannot be logged in in two places at the same time. Right, well, that's yeah, right. I thought I was going to be able to log in as myself on a separate screen. When you go log in as Basecamp Manager, mm -hmm. this will work now. This is just for Ben. Mastery. Connect with storytelling. Yeah. Right. This looks really familiar. Yes, it is. Because I I'm, that's where I am. Yeah. Once he's done researching and presenting. That's what I'm on. Yes, yes. yes. There will be a box down here that allows you, allows both the individual and also the base camp manager to access mm -hmm. the certificate. I right. will. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to close all these other screens down.
I think I may have forgotten to have logged in as Basecamp Manager. Log in as Basecamp Manager. Go back to Member Progress. Go up to Level Completions. Unfortunately, animals are not able to be signed up for <laughs> pathways. Well, you know, not four-legged ones. <laughs> no. She's a 15 kg boxer who thinks that she's a um, <laughs> lap dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, um, can I ask another question? Yeah. I hope, hope you don't mind. But, um, you know, what, what qualifications do you need to, to be a coach of a club? To be a coach? Yes, you know, like, because... A, you must know how a club runs. You know, you, you need to know oh, yes. the, the, the processes. Yes. The club needs to apply for a club coach. Okay. And you need to be available. So there's two forms that are filled out. And then they... Why is that forever going back to there? Um, you need to be able to go in and you need to be able to sit back, analyse what's going on in that club yes. before you actually try and do anything in that club. And you've got to remember that you are not the... It's not your club. Right. You're just guiding them. Um, yeah. Someone said to me once, because I can be quite dogmatic about Toastmaster processes and what works in successful clubs, don't go in with a softball bat. Right. Go, go in with velvet gloves. I absolutely agree. You can suggest things, but if people yeah. say, no, nah, don't want that. There's absolutely nothing that you can do. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, why is Ben not allowing me to... Ah, that's right, because someone has already done the... has already done the uh, print of the certificate out, so I... I can't go back in and, and redo it again. Right. Because um, I, I have printed out certificates yeah. as president because, yeah. Yeah. It is Actually. the easiest way out. And some clubs say that because it's expensive to print out certificates, it's up to the individual to do it and then bring them along to the club to be presented. Believe me. In 15 years, I know that if an award goes to an individual's address, the club is never going to see it. Under the old legacy program, what we used to do in Wainui Amata, when we registered it, address for the award, president's address. Mm -hmm. Came to the president, the next meeting, the president gets up in general business and embarrasses Gavin by saying, now we have an award here for Gavin for his advanced communicator bronze. Oh, I hadn't received it. No, it comes okay. to the president. We present it. There you are. It's all yours. Recognition is paramount in Toastmasters. I find people do better if they're being recognized. And by the club printing off the certificates out of base camp and presenting them 
And what's what's a color copy? A dollar, if you print it out. Basically, what I used to do in Levin was I would print them out. I would laminate them because I've got a laminator. Right. Cost of two dollars, and they get this protected certificate. And even the people that said, "Oh no, I don't. I'm not interested." <laughs> you could see they got a good buzz of being recognized publicly. And it's different to being saying, oh, congratulations on getting your level one pathways, Gavin. Now go and have a cup of coffee. Right. Being called to the front and presented with a certificate. And it it doesn't matter, but hey, everyone to the to their own club. Now, where else? No, I'll come back to the dashboard. Come on, come on. This is the one thing I find about these are the standard reports. Oh, track employees. Uh, this yeah, this is one of the things that they have not changed. Pathways wasn't a custom database for Toastmasters. It's a standard one for corporate learning system that's mm -hmm. been adapted, and there are still the odd things that show up. But we will go back to the tutorials. And there, if I can see. Do everything in English, that way I can understand. These are all the project descriptions available. Uh, now I know there's one down here for a base camp. Here we are, base camp manager tutorials. And this will show you everything that you need to do. So what I've gone over today so far is just an overall view of all of these particular tutorials that are there. Um, printing certificates. There's always a lot of dead time. And I'm not sure whether the audio will come up. But again, can you hear that? I can't. No, no that's audio. okay. That's okay. Now I know where I was going wrong. <laughs> With my profile, everything was set up. Um, I need to go back. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to go home. So if I want to find, I'll look for Jess, oops. Jessica Whitley. So I can click on her. And then go to Paths and Learning. Now, all of this is about Jess. 
she's got two paths going at the moment, and I'm not quite sure where she's up to with it. But if I click on innovative planning, she has completed level one. So if you were had just approved level one for her. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, she hasn't. She's only done I'm the icebreaker. So this is where you can actually crack the individual. And if you saw, did you see how I did that? I went to home. Yes. Yes. Clicked on member progress. Right. And then up here in the search bar in the top right hand corner, I put in the person's name. Right. The club yeah. member's name. Again, I'll look at myself. Yes. It brings up my profile. And mm -hmm. then I look at paths and learning. And this gives me access to everything that that member has going at this stage. Wow. If I right. open Presentation Mastery, it tells me that I have done, completed level one to four. I print on four, click on floor a lot. Yeah. And it brings up there and see where it's got a tick by level four, view certificate. Mm -hmm. Click on that. Is that all? And there's my level four presentation mastery, which Palmerston North will have printed out and will present to me at the next meeting. And will that complete it? Uh, no, I've already completed level four because, as you can see, it's got a tick. Right. There. Yes. And and the. The one hundred percent will come when you print the certificate. Is that it? Um, you know? No, it it shows that I've done all the. There are three parts to it. There's yes. one compulsory, managing a difficult audience, and yeah. two electives. Uh, one elective required. I've actually done two. So there, right. that's completed. I see. Right. When you yeah. print the certificate yeah. out. That's just the recognition part of it. Right. And You're when you go to, it just means that I can go straight on to level five now. Right. Um, Good. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So that that's that. I won't go into too many of the other people. No. Mm -hmm. But what I would suggest is that you log into Basecamp, in Gavin's yes. case, and go through the tutorials because the tutorials are very, very self-explanatory. Um, tracking progress. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, we'll go to level completion. And it gives you three different parts of it. The level completion overview, responding to level completion requests, and printing certificates. Right. Each oh. one of these, um, tracking progress has exactly the same thing. Projects outside. So... They're, they're very brief videos, but they're specific to those particular items and they're step by step. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to access these, Mark, until you get back on as either a president, VP ed, or secretary. Right. Uh, of a current club. Yes. Yeah. You know, if they were in the past, you can't do anything about it. If you're a secretary this year, you've still got access to all of this. Um, right. And they are very good, especially the base camp manager overview. Mm -hmm. So there's everything that you need to know 
is in base camp for you to have a look at. Any questions? Um, Kevin, have you got any questions? Because <laughs> I've already got. No, I don't have any questions. I've um, had a reasonably good um, look through a lot of the training videos and stuff because um, due to health issues, I'm not working. So I've got plenty of time on my hands. <laughs> One comment I would make um, yes. is when you get your VP to approve a project outside the club, you mm -hmm. need a club member to evaluate it, as Neville has said. The same can go for the competition speeches. If you can get a project oh, right. with, um, that suits your speech, so we had um, one member do body language yes. um, for the uh, speech competition speech, so it counted as a pathway speech. We had one do connect through storytelling, and we had the, the third um, competitor complete their part two of feedback and evaluation. Right. So that way we, we still mm -hmm. had three pathway speeches for that mo meeting. We didn't mm -hmm. actually lose a meeting worth of speeches as far as pathway credits go. Yeah. That's, up to, the, that's up to the individual. I know Absolutely. a couple of years ago when I competed and got through to division level, division finals, um, I volunteered to be the test speaker at evaluation contests. And every time I gave my competition speech at club, we focused on body language. Mm -hmm. At area level, I focused on vocal variety. Mm -hmm. And when I got to division, it was evaluated as an S10, which was inspirational. Right. Or persuade with power, one of those. Um, oh, so every, time I, every time I give a speech, I try and work, well, I used to work it into a CC manual. Mm. Gosh, it didn't, didn't even occur to me. That's, and why, we I've done that that's wow. why I've done 21 CC manuals. <laughs> Good God. Yeah. Yes. It comes through particularly, obviously, I joined when during the phase out period, I joined yeah. October last year. Yeah. So, you know, I've only known, as far as personal yeah. experience goes, the pathway system. Yes. Uh, I've never seen a competent communicator manual. Um, well, but oh, I, I, yeah. it is my yeah. impression that Pathways is more flexible. You can yes. find there are more electives there that you can adapt to suit yes. any speech rather than being restricted. Right. Under the legacy program, if you wanted to focus on um, presentation mastery, you mm -hmm. had to do 10 competent communicator speeches before you could access the advanced manuals. Right. And there were 15 advanced manuals. Um, now, under Pathways, you can, if you want to be a stand-up comedian, you can focus on engaging humour. Mm -hmm. If you want to be... Yes. There's various paths that focus on that particular aspect that you want. Mm -hmm. They all start off with level one, yes. your icebreaker. Yes. If you've done five on your fourth or fifth path, then you get a bit blasé about talking about your life. But why not focus that particular icebreaker on why you chose that path. Yes. And it's a good stepping stone 
to why did I pick um, effective coaching? Because I've been a club coach, successful club coach before. I enjoy mentoring people, etc. So that was the icebreaker yes. for that particular speech, rather than going back and talking about six decades of my life, which people get a bit bored about hearing because the speeches that I drag out left, right and centre. Um, and yeah, even in the legacy programme after 21 CCs, I was still able to just focus on certain parts of my life. One icebreaker was about race walking. Mm -hmm. And athletics and how, as a result of medical issues when I was younger how I've still been able to play senior rugby senior cricket race walker half marathon and get North Island titles to my name in masters athletics right. so yes. that was focused more on the sporting part of my life mm -hmm. and there's nothing to stop you focusing your icebreakers and any other paths on why you chose that path. Right, because... Keeps you grounded as to focused on the goals for that speech and allows people to learn a bit more about you. The one thing I would suggest is if you are thinking of taking up a new path, don't look at the title. Don't look at visionary a visionary leadership or innovative planning as a title. Go and look at the electives that mm -hmm. are available in that path. So pick the paths that have the, the electives that might interest you. Yes, so you pick, can the the yeah, pick the electives that interest you rather than a fancy title. Do you understand what I mean? I will just try and find this one document and I will then share my screen again. Uh, but, yes, what I, what I really sense um, from you, Neville, is uh, you've expanded um, how we might have, how um, experienced Toastmasters might present icebreakers, and that icebreaker is tied to what they're doing rather than you know rehashing your life, because at our club that's what's happening is we just, you know we 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 got we're lit we're taking icebreakers so literally. But and yet the Toastmasters are experienced. One was a distinguished Toastmaster, you yeah. know, so. Um, but I can see now how if we tied it up to, if we you, you know like if I because um, if we're doing a mentorship or a, pro, a coaching program, we could the icebreaker could be about about that you know the topic the main yeah. point could be about that and yeah. If if you're retired like I am, <laughs> right. I'm not yeah. really interested in doing electives on preparing for an interview. I mean, oh, right. yes, yes. I'm more interested in focusing on the positive, creating effective visual aids, connect with your audience. Now, if I wanted to connect with the audience, as you can see there, it is yes. an elective in, specific, well, it's a required level for right. innovative planning. That'd be great, yes. Um, and then when you get to level four, building a social media presence. It could be helping your club with Facebook, Twitter, oh, Instagram. Um, managing a difficult audience is always a good one. Mm -hmm. um, I did that online the other night, discussing um, the end of life choice referendum. Wow, well, uh, yes and got interrupted all through the meeting. And it was good practice because the speech is not evaluated on the content. It's yeah. evaluated on how you 
handle the interruptions. Mm -hmm. So well, if you're giving, if you're doing a, giving a presentation outside of Toastmasters, mm -hmm. um, at an, a political meeting or something like that, you are going to get hassled. You are going to get heckled. You're going to get yep. interrupted. And it's how you handle those interruptions that allow you to get your message across. Mm -hmm. You know, manage online meetings. That's an excellent one now that we're on Zoom. Mm. Yes, gosh, I wish I, yeah. Moderate a panel discussion. Yes. You know, that's quite good if you're... Um, presenting at CLT or something like that. Mm -hmm. So there's all these ones that are using, you know, there's descriptive language, which was um, Fantastic. CC speech number four or five, using, yeah, vocal, using vocal variety. I know, those are great. There's your S10, inspire your speech. Effective yes, yes. body language. Yes. Getting comfortable with visual aids. Right. So oh, in some ways, it's not so much that CC has been replaced. It's been expanded and updated to bring yeah. it online. Yeah. 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 Right. And they've, they've split it into a number of places. Okay. Yes. Um, so that you're not doing boring speech, boring speech, boring speech, boring, well, maybe not boring, but, you know, basic, basic, basic all the time. You're able to focus on a, on a project and then later on bring home your skills by using vocal variety, a specific vocal variety mm -hmm. Um, Neville, could I ask a question? Yeah. Right. Um, right. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's a, it's about apparently in pathways. You know, whenever we do a role like chairperson or table topics, there's somewhere where we can tick it off. And I've never actually seen it, but our clubs mention it several times, and I've tried to look for it when I went and did my. Um, you know, strategic, interpersonal kind of thing there. But where do you go to fill out that kind of thing to keep it as a record for yourself on Pathways? Do you yeah, know what I'm talking about? Yes, I've never I do know that. what you're talking about. I'd love you to know Go that. to your profile. Yes. And uh, is this in in pathways? Go this is in pathways. Yep. Is it additional roles? I've got to. Mm, oh, that sounds like no, it. no, 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 no. That's not it. But you know, because I'd like I, to I've done them over the years, so I don't bother filling it, filling them out all the time. Um, club support history, no. I think usually towards the top right, you get top like right. a, a multi-pronged star, and if you click on that, you can star. my profile or log out. To go into my profile, it's um. there put your name address what date you last did those roles yeah okay yeah right um and look at he, right why isn't his showing up with that oh do i have to go to ah, that's why i've got to go to palmerston north club yes you've got to go to it's okay you know because if i've, I've got those instructions from you so i'll you know go yep, there it is you what, go where? to your profile, then click on my account. What, where, where, whereabouts? I didn't see. Yep. So oh, no, I, will, side of I will go back. I will go back and take you through 
because you know we, 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 right. that was too far mm. <laughs> that was dumb there you are click on your profile go to your club right profile club yes and then see in the top right hand corner you've got the search and that little cogwheel search and cogwheel yes highlight the clog wheel and it will come up with my account or log out you click on my account yeah my account right and then it will come down here and it will say right there's your roles good good well look yeah Oh, well, look, I've done all those during the year, but I wouldn't remember the dates, gosh. Mm. Yeah, well, the beautiful... Oh, uh, excuse VP. me just a moment. As VP uh, Ed, yes. I am tracking. Um, I have an Excel file. Um, yes. When I do the schedule ahead of time, that's yes. on one sheet, and then in another sheet, yeah. I... I, re I put in as it was on the night so you know there might have been some last minute changes to the to the agenda um but i put those in the separate sheet so that then you can go back and say okay this person did a speech on these dates they did this role on these dates and it's all there it also okay. you to go back when yep. you are doing the forward roster as VP of E, you can see how long since someone's done the role and how often they've done the role. Does right. your club does your club use Easy Speak, Mark? No. No, we don't. You know, um we don't we don't use that. Um we haven't got anything like it. Yeah. Uh, easy basically speak, Easy Speak I find is very good for record keeping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. A lot of people disagree with me, but uh, if people aren't going to answer emails from your VP Ed about or the con the meeting chair, they're not going to answer emails from um, Easy Speak. But I will just show you something. I will just go back to here. Right, and. Uh, would I be, be able to exit after that? Yes. Um, <laughs> because I, right. If I go to Palmerston North Club again, I'll use Palmerston. And we go down here and we, oh, sorry, I will share my screen now. Do you use Easy Speak, Gavin? No. This is for the 19th of October. What? Well, yes. Um, but we can go to this club and we go to club charts and we go to... Club chart. Uh, Roles by member. Mm -hmm. And if you have a look here, I can go back nine meetings or that, and it will tell me who was the listen master and the roles that were out on the 7th of September. Right. So this is yes. where if you use... Um, Easy speak, you'll be able to update your records and pathways with regards to your roles. Right. Yeah. But I, if you I, don't, I, you're going to have to go back to your VP Ed and mm -hmm. say, do you have a record of who did what roles? Look, on I, I, uh, yeah. I but know. Just um, remember, you can probably remember back a month what roles yeah. you've done in the last three or four meetings. 
Yes, well, I've kept all the agendas. We get our agendas emailed, and yeah. also our VP Ed sends us what he calls a forward planner. Yeah. And that tells us, and, and, you know, I can easily request that. And I've even got it there, but our forward planner is not, sometimes no. it's obsolete. The forward but, planner, yeah. or the schedule, as I call it, is yeah. just a list that gives people an idea of what they've got coming up okay. yes, in the I do. future. I find, again, I'll harp back to Wainui Amata. We had 21 members in the club. We've never had less than 20 members in 12 years. Yes. I've been presidents distinguished 12 years out of 12. They have a forward schedule. They do three yep. speeches a night. Yep. 20 members. Three speeches. So seven weeks in advance, you know what's coming up. And they have a rule that if you're down to do a, a speech and you can't make it, you swap with someone else. If you just pull out, you miss your speaking slot for that round. So it throws the onus back on the members as yeah. well. Um, okay. It's That tells you what's coming up. And with some of the speeches, if you're on level three or level four, you can't whip up a level three or level four compulsory speech overnight. It takes planning. Yes. Um, so you need to know what's coming up. They're handy, but it works hand in hand with base camp. Right. You tell people you've got a speech coming up in three weeks, and they're more likely to spend a couple of days preparing for that speech. And as you say, right. life gets in the way of Toastmasters. It does. At times. Yeah. Yeah. Life yeah. I'm, going off, I'm going off to my life. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. Well, I would like to say a special thank you. You know, I was looking forward to this morning and I've, I've achieved a couple of goals there. Yeah. You know, that, yeah. 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 But again, if you have any issues or any problems with Pathways and Base Camp, mm -hmm. give me a yell because oh, gee, I will thanks. have a one-on-one -on -one with you and make you do the work so right, that yeah. I can see the steps that you're taking and it'll probably be, oh, yeah, it's easy. You should have yeah. done this. Right. And there are things that slip my mind and Gavin reminded me on where to find the um, meeting roles. Yes. I knew they were there. I've been there. I just haven't updated the dates. Right. I've done okay. them once, so I tend to forget about them. Right. So I'm hoping Good. that you got something out of it today, I Mark. did. Yes, Gavin, I hope you got something out of it and... I know yes. I got something out of the comments that you've made. Right. Right. So, oh, and thanks, Gavin. You know, it was great. Yeah. Um, coming yeah. up, we've got, when I find the bit of paper that I wrote it down on, we have one on free toast toast coming up. Okay. We Next. have one on how to influence the judges. <laughs> okay. In for contests, and we have one on Easy Speak. Oh, great. Yes, all right. So, easy Speak. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'd say goodbye. Adieu. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you very much. And we've been going for the hour 45 so far, so I will 